Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over audio editing in Ignite. I'm going to open up the Edit tab by clicking here. And I already have my audio clip selected in the Arranger. The Edit tab is contextual, meaning it's going to display whichever clip I have selected in the Arranger. So if I click this Vintage Drum Kit clip, it's going to show me the data, the MIDI data for that particular clip. I'm going to go back and select the audio clip that I want to work with for this tutorial. Let's go over some of the controls we have available for us for editing in the Edit tab. As you can see, I've got a yellow box that bounds 10 measures, which matches the 10 measure length of the clip in the Arranger. I can shorten the overall length of the clip from the beginning or the end by bringing my cursor to the end or the beginning of the clip and dragging it forwards. If I want to preserve the length of the clip, but only have a selected area of the audio play during playback, I can drag these play flags, which are available at the beginning or the end, to the area of the clip that I just want to play. I'm going to play this back to demonstrate. As you can see, the audio that's here is actually not playing because it's not selected. Only the selected audio will play back when you're using the play flags. I'm just going to move these back out. Now, I know my clip didn't start recording right at the first measure and the first beat, so I'm going to go in here and edit. So, and, and I know the first few bars of this performance weren't the best, so I'm going to use the zoom control tools here to go in and find the exact spot where I want to have the audio playback and trim the clip accordingly. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to take the song clip out of cued mode so that it doesn't play back automatically when I hit play. And again, I do that by clicking shift, holding down shift and clicking the playback button on the song clip. Now I'm just going to play back. I'm going to scroll a little bit over here. And I'm just going to play back that guitar part to find the right part where I want to have it start playing. Try it at bar four. Now again, I'm just playing, I'm just using the play flags here. If I want the whole clip to start at bar four, I'm actually going to have to shorten the clip. I'm just going to zoom out here so I can see the whole clip. I'm going to scroll back to the left, grab the end of the clip, and bring it to that bar four. Now when I let go of the mouse, that bar four is going to turn back to bar one. Let's play that back. That's cool. Let's listen to that back with the rest of the song. I'm going to put the song clip back into play cued mode so that when I press the space bar on my keyboard, it'll start playing automatically. Again, to do that, I hold down shift on my computer keyboard and click the play button until it's flashing yellow. And then when I press the space bar, everything will start playing back together. That sounds great. That wraps up this particular tutorial. Be sure to definitely check out the user's guide, which is available in the help menu for additional information about working with audio in Ignite. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.